Howdy everybody, John Coffey here with an unpackaging and DVD Blu-ray update. Um, before I get started, a quick rundown of what's going on with the page. I know it's been a long time before uh, I've put up anything, but I'm getting ready to go back to school. Matt's going back to school now. He started the day. So, we just between getting ready, we just haven't had time to, to do any videos or watch any movies. But we did finish the Troll 2 commentary, which I'm looking on to... Um, finish up here in just a little bit. I'm actually working on it today. And when that's done, I'll probably put it up on the weekend. So, enough of that. Let's get right into um, the unpackaging and update. But let's start with the stuff I've already got before I put up this bad boy because I can't wait for everybody to see this because that's awesome. Uh, anyways, first up, something my brother in law got me. He's always looking for funny, weird movies to pick up for me. And he picked up this one Infestion. Don't know anything else about it. Looks like a zombie movie, not sure. I recognize this guy. I don't remember what from. Oh. So, yeah, there's that one. Don't know about it. Could be fun, could be bad. If anyone's ever seen it, give me a holler. Let me know what you think about it. Could be good. Next up, I picked these up for like, I think, plus tax and everything, $3 a piece. These next two right here. Puppet Master 1, 2, and 3, which I've seen up to Puppet Master 3. I haven't watched 3 yet, though. I watched the first two a few nights ago. I like them. I actually really like the Puppet Master series. So there's 1, and 2, and 3. I, like I said, like, I think it was two ninety nine at Kmart. So if you're looking to check, pick these up, go to Kmart. You can get them for 2 bucks a piece. And then Puppet Master 4, 5, and Curse of the Puppet Master, which... I don't remember much. I know I've seen most of these when I was younger, but I don't remember much about them. But I know uh, Jeff Burr directed these two, so I'm definitely looking forward to picking those, uh, checking those out. But yeah, there's six of the Puppet Master movies anyways. I know there's like ten, I think. Um, this is the one I remember the most as a kid, but I have to see if it's any good still. Uh, and last up on the DVD... Full Metal Alchemist, The Sacred Stars of Milos. Two disc special edition. Picked this up at Best Buy for like 15 bucks. I didn't even know this was out on DVD already. I thought it was still uh, coming out. I'm a huge Full Metal Alchemist fan, and this is the. Uh... Now, if you don't know what Full Metal, I mean, anything about Full Metal Alchemist, there's two series. There's Full Metal Alchemist and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Where Brotherhood is kind of a slot remake, but at the same time, it does its own story as well like it, it remakes the the beginning of Fumal Alchemist up to a certain point and then takes its own direction this is the Brotherhood movie um, I haven't watched it yet though looking forward to it but I was kind of looking to get through at least most of Brotherhood before I watched it because I haven't watched Brotherhood all the way through yet so there's Fumal Alchemist, Sacred Stars, Milos looking forward to it and uh, to keep going with the uh, anime Fumal Alchemist theme on Blu-ray, I have Full Metal Alchemist, The Conqueror of Shambhala. This is a single Blu-ray. I actually did watch this one. There's that one. A couple things right there. <laughs> um, I'll give you a quick thoughts on the... on the. First of all, it, this is the original Full Metal Alchemist movie. Um, and uh, being a huge fan of the original Full Metal Alchemist movie... I've never been a big fan of the ending of Full Metal Alchemist. I always thought it kind of um, kind of didn't wrap things up at all. <laughs> but um, you know, of course, I was looking forward to seeing the movie because I, they're supposed to be, you know, the ending and what you know. This is what's going on after the end of the Full Metal Alchemist series. I, I loved the movie. I thought it was a great movie, but the ending once again really they just kind of kind of disappointed me. I didn't think it was a very good ending to the series. But, what are you going to do? Sometimes it happens. Still a great series. Still a great movie. Uh, one of the cool things about this is it's set in uh, post-World War I Germany, but right before World War II. So you actually see characters like Adolf Hitler. And this guy here in the original Fullmetal Alchemist was uh, Fuhrer Bradley, who, uh, not going to spoil anything about it, but he was one of the main characters. And this one, his, uh, his character... In World War II Germany, is 
Fritz Long, which I thought was actually really cool. So, yeah, there's that. Great movie all the way up until the end. I didn't think the ending really gave a, a definite ending, but oh well. And then finally, before I do the unpackaging, the original Inglorious Bastards by Enzo Castellari, which this is an amazing movie. I haven't checked out the Blu-ray yet, but like, this is just a cool movie. Boasts Vincent Fred Williamson. And if you've never seen an Enzo Castellari film, you're doing yourself an injustice. That guy may be the best Italian action director of all time. I mean, he's fantastic with stuff like The Big Racket and this. I mean, Heroin Busters. I mean, the guy's just amazing. So, yep, there's that. And Glorious Bastards Blu-ray. Awesome movie. And next up. Time to... Whoop. <laughs> time to do another packaging. Now, hold on just a second. Look at my ugly mug for just about a minute here. It shouldn't take too bad. It'd be too bad to get open here. Ow! It hurt. <laughs> ah. First I'll show you it all, and then I'll open it up and let everybody take a look at it. Studio Ghibli Movie Collection. Yeah. Um, is it? No, no, case ain't busted. That's just the way it's made. <laughs> I was about to get really pissed off. Should I tell you all the movies it's got in here real quick here. It's got Le, Le, Le Puta, or Le Pota, which I think is better than us. Castle in the Sky, Grave of the Fireflies, Whispers of the Heart, Princess Monoke, My Neighbor Tortoro. Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind, Kiki's Delivery Service, Porco Rosso, The Cat Returns, Howl's Moving Castles, Tales from Earthsea, Spirited Away, Ponyo, My Neighbor the Yamadas, Porco Rosso, and the newest Studio Ghibli film, The Secret World of the Arietti. So, it's got 16 Studio Ghibli films. You look at my ugly mug for just a few more minutes before I crack this bad boy open because I don't even know what it looks like on the inside either. I know it's multiple discs. Kind of all the movies put on multiple discs, which, you know, I prefer getting all the movies on individual discs because I think it actually makes the quality better because when you start cramming movies on discs, you start losing picture quality. But they're all just stacked on top of each other, which mm, <laughs> not my favorite way to do a box set. But for the price I paid for this, I ain't going to complain at all. Um, if you don't know what Studio Ghibli is, man, these are like, this is basically the Pixar of Japan, man. And they actually have a deal with Disney. In my case, maybe it's broke. It is broke, son of a bitch. Dumbass shipping. Look at that shit. Ugh. This is third or fourth time this last couple times. My damn case has been broken. That makes me so mad. Ugh. Oh well, I guess I have to get over it. Yeah, Studio Ghibli. They're the premier anime company in Japan, in my opinion. They make some of the best movies. I've seen a lot of this already, yo. Like, I've seen Grey of the Fireflies, Princess Mononoke, My Neighbor Totoro, Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind, Howl's Moving Castle, Spirit Away, Ponyo, and they're all amazing. Especially stuff like Grey of the Fireflies. It's one of the best, just movies in general. And it looks great, except for the fact that they broke my damn face. <sighs> oh, well. At least it's here and it looks nice, and I'm, that's gonna be looking good on my shelf. So, uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I paid for it because I paid quite a bit for it. <laughs> that what makes me a little mad because I paid that much for it and it's broken. But oh well. So there you have it, guys. All my DVDs, all my Blu-rays that I've got in here recently, and um, like I said, we'll be coming back soon. I'm planning on one day actually getting in here and showing all this off because I was doing that, and then I. Um, stopped and <laughs> didn't finish it so one day we'll get in here and show off all this stuff and all my autographs and stuff like that too so there's stuff coming guys just be patient with us while we get settled in back into our routine and we'll we'll be back full force doing our thing so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all later